Hello boys and girls. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate how to do the Valentine's Day, that Valentine's Day heart. We did that on February 14th and 15th. So I'm going to uh, show you how to do that. First thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new design. Then, you see your work plane, I'm going to come up to the title and I'm going to change the title to Valentine's Valentine's Day Heart and if you would please put your name. I printed a bunch of these. Um, a lot of people got this one correct. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to edit the grid. Remember, we go down here, edit grid. We're going to change from millimeters to inches, from metric to standard measurement, and then we're ready to start. This is quite a simple project, really. Um, I hope that you'll find it simple too. So I'm going to pull. I'm going to go down and see. You see the heart over here? We're going to pull that out. I'm going to put it up on the top left-hand side of the work plane. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to change the X and the Y axis to measure two inches. Keep it proportional and we are going to make it one inch high. Okay, the next part that we're going to do is going to be hollow this out, make a hole. So we're going to pull out another heart. And we are going to make this just a little bit smaller than two inches. So we're going to make it 1.75. One and three quarters. 1.75 and we are going to make this one inch tall. Now this is just a little bit smaller than this so we're going to when we put it inside it's going to be a hollow it's going to have one eighth of an inch walls. So while this is still highlighted we're going to come up to this and we're going to change the to hole and it becomes transparent and you can see that now. Um, we're going to raise it up just a little bit, one eighth of an inch. If you remember how to do that, you start pulling this up and you get a little measurement. So we're going to put 0.125, which is eighth of an inch. Yep, see how it's elevated just a little bit? Now with the handles off, if you move it with the handles on, you're going to wind up changing the dimensions. So with the handles off, I'm going to drag it over and put it about on the inside of the first heart. I'm going to click and drag over it. I'm going to come up here to where it says align. And we're going to align on the X and the Y axis. And once we have that right, we're going to come up here and we're going to click on group. And now, if you look, we have our hollow shell of the Valentine's Day heart. Now, what we did, uh, we, we're going to make a top of it. So, the, the top is going to be um, another heart. We're going to make that two inches by two inches. And we are going to make that 0.125, an eighth of an inch. Now, in order to have a little lip so it fits in there real tightly, we're going to make another heart. We're going to drag out another one. This one's going to be the size of the hole up here. 1.75. 1.75. And this one we are going to make 0.25. A quarter of an inch. Now I click off of it with the handles off. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to click and drag over it. I'm going to align it. The X axis, the Y axis. I'm going to group. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Don't, I, know I had some kids trying to put this on top. We don't want it on top. We want it to stay right here so that when it prints, it'll print flat. And that is how you make a Valentine's Day heart. 
If you decide to make this up, please let me know.